Madam President, colleagues, good morning. It is a privilege to be afforded an opportunity to lend my voice and my country's voice to this important discourse on climate change. The climate crisis has issued us an ultimatum. Either we take immediate and drastic action or subject ourselves to an infernal global disaster. Indifference and inaction equal nothing short of destruction. Already we are far behind in limiting temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius. The coming decade, therefore, must be the decade of decisive action. Climate change affects us all, rich, poor, developed, and developing states, but its effects are far more severe on the poorest and most vulnerable, especially small island development states and low-lying coastal states. For us, it's a question simply of survival. Immediate action is needed on three fronts. First, all countries must set more ambitious goals to reduce emissions and we must honor to the letter those ambitions. All countries have an obligation to act, but the world's foremost polluters have a greater duty to institute steeper emission cuts. Second, the pledge of 100 billion US per annum made one decade ago to support climate action must be met. Dishonored pledges are a recipe for disaster. Third, forests constitute a powerful arsenal in the, flight, in the fight against climate change. Forest risk countries must be provided with the incentives necessary to keep their forests intact and to reduce deforestation and forest degradation. Mindful that deforestation contributes 16% to annual global emissions, and in recognition of the ecosystem and climatic services provided by forests, it is imperative that we finalize the rules for carbon markets and RED plus so as to properly value tropical forests and the climate services which they provide. A little about Guyana. Guyana by far remains a net carbon sink by a significant margin, whereby the 18 million hectares of largely intact forest in Guyana sequesters approximately 154 tons of carbon dioxide annually. The forest provides this important ecosystem function as one of nine countries of the Amazon. Guyana also have some of the highest forest cover on earth, along with one of the lowest deforestation rates. The country is also part of the Guyana Shield, which stores about a fifth of the world's fresh water and about 18% of the world's tropical carbon. It also has an extremely high level of biodiversity and endemism, with about 4% of all known animals species and even more birds species. Guyana is already playing its part, therefore, in addressing climate change and will continue to do so. We will maintain our forest almost the size of England and Scotland combined, storing 20 gigaton of carbon as a global asset. We will work with local communities in conserving, protecting, and sustainably managing our forest, biodiversity, and freshwater supplies. We will decouple economic growth and emissions through a progressively cleaner energy mix with the aim of reducing our carbon emissions by 70% by the year 2030. We will invest in low carbon opportunities for jobs, ecosystem services, and social inclusion through an expanded low carbon development strategy. Our government and our parliament will continue to aggressively enact laws and regulations, promote promulgate and implement policies on climate change and promote low carbon development in every area of national life. The time for talk is over. The time for action is now. 
It is but a question of survival. Now, act now or continue on the road to definite perdition. Thank you very much for your attention.